In this video, it's going to be a little different. I want to talk about making money. I was watching a YouTube video, well, on a YouTube commercial, and it was talking about developing this high ticket skill set, becoming a high ticket closer. And because I used to be a high ticket closer, let's go ahead and talk about what is that. What is a high ticket closer? This is someone that sells a product or a service that they can make a very large commission. I will give you an example. Uh, I did my biggest deal, and I didn't do it by myself, it was uh, a bunch of us working on it jointly, it was a $3 million deal. And the profit was almost a million dollars. So that's really high ticket closing. And what these people will have you believe is you can literally plug into a company. And I'm gonna tell you something. A company that is selling a product or service is not going to allow you to come in as a free agent or a contract employee and they don't know nothing about you. You wanna know why? It's too dangerous because they can go ahead and have some one of these remote closers working from home and they can damage their brand. And most companies that have a good product, a good service are just not going to hire someone that they don't know, that they don't even know of their track record. This is why the top level salespeople are recruited on LinkedIn by people who know about their track record. Like, uh, just to, this is a little different. Um, Kishi Ovid, she's the CEO of Instacart. She worked for either DoorDash or she worked for Facebook for 10 years. She was some other company. So she had a visible and clear track record for the guys at Instacart to reach out to her and bring her on as CEO. You're not going, you know, just watching a YouTube course and becoming a high ticket closer. Um, it, 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 it's, it's a dream because this is the thing that I saw in the YouTube commercial. You don't have to build a company. You don't have to build a funnel. All you gotta get on the phone is just close, baby, just close. You know how hard it is. Now, there are people who do telesales. There are people who close sales on the phone. And these are really highly trained professionals. And just, you're gonna take this to, let's say, let's go ahead and say it was a three, because one, one, I'm gonna tell you how long the course is. And I don't even know, I just suspect the course is probably four to eight weeks, 12 at the longest. I'm gonna tell you why. It took me months to learn how to cold call properly at Rental Crate. It took me months of going to Rental Crate every day and picking up the phone and doing this for eight to 10 hours a day. Yet you're gonna take some course, let's say it's a 12 week course, and you're gonna take the course, and let's say the course lectures just for the sake of argument are 45 minutes. And it's about 30 hours of learning. 30 hours of learning. Let's say the course is pretty intensive. There's a lot of stuff in there. 30 hours of learning. 30 hours of learning. In one month, I had 120 more hours because I was doing it full time then you will get taking a 12 week course with 30 hours of training. It's just, uh, it's, it's fascinating because I understand, cause you know, I, I'm a pimp in the game. I know the game. They're designing the course to sell to you because if they make it seem complicated, they're not gonna make as many sales. And if they told you the truth, that only the most determined, the most, and there, there were people who were almost kind of plugged in. And what do I mean by that? They'll take the course 
and it will fill in some missing gaps and they'll start making that money because they're almost plugged in. And I mean, what I see is a lack of commitment to making money because everyone's trying to do it in microseconds. They're trying to do it in the microwave, like put in the microwave, punch in five minutes, 30 seconds, and doo doo. And that, that, that's the result. They're looking for microwave results. And I'm about to share something with you because uh, this, this deals with home economics. Because like I said, I had five months to think about this. So home economics is now gonna get a revamped brand new version of 30 days to $2,500 that's gonna be specifically designed for starting a business at home. It's a niche. And uh, when I'm done with this, like what I'm doing, every day at 3 p.m., I come on YouTube, once again, the lectures are 30 minutes, they're capped at 30 minutes. There's a reason for that, I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, 30 minutes, and I'm gonna do training, I'm gonna do, and you show up, you get it for free. Now, this is something I learned seven, eight years ago. This is how I launched the first 30 days to 2,500, and I sold almost a million dollars worth for that course. So I already know that going on YouTube and giving it away for free for the folks who show up, because here, here's the thing, here's the thing. People who take a course, and this is something that I get, the folks who take a course and actually go through the course like to go through it again. They like to go through it a few times. This is one of the reasons, because I have people It's like, hey man, you got rid of Hustlers Kung Fu and I bought that course and I was like, it's still there. Here's the URL. You can go ahead, your login still works. I've not removed anything. So people like to go over it and that's a good thing, that's a good thing. So one of the things that I'm about to tell you, I'm about to tell you a little secret, little secret. I can tell you exactly what I do to make money. I can break it down. I can sit down, I can tell you in a live webinar, or I can do it in a live course. And because this is the key thing, and this th these are the missing ingredients. I can give you the framework. I can do a YouTube video talking about everything that I do. And 99.9% .9 of the people will not be able to get anything close to my results. You wanna know why? They're operating in a resource deficient environment. There is a reason that I can make the money that I make. And it isn't because like, you know, the techniques, the process, the methodology, it's kinda complicated, and I'll explain that in a minute, but if you don't have the digital assets that I have, you cannot do what I'm doing. And the digital assets took years to build. Years to build. And I'm going somewhere with this. I'm going somewhere with this. Um, everyone online is trying to say that you can make six figures doing pallet flipping, uh, medical commodities, box trucking, Amazon Relay, all of these things that you can come on YouTube, come to YouTube University and learn and then be making money quick, fast, in a hurry, right? And here's the, pro here's the problem with that. And this is something that I mentioned in uh, yesterday's training. I'm going to be conducting, right now I'm conducting some experiments. And this is only going to be open to the students of the Glendon Cameron School. I am not going to, if I find a business model that's workable, I am not going to come on YouTube and talk about it. You want to know why? YouTube destroys business models. This is what has happened to the housing market. It's not the corporate investors that are destroying that. They're only buying houses in literally 10 states. That means they're not buying houses in 40 states. So it's these, not these corporate people. They're just pushing up the price. They're just grabbing. No, it's not them. What it is, is all of these weekend seminars. It's like, hey, you could do no money down real estate. And essentially, there are so many people who are in the real estate market 
that when there's too many people in the market, it gets hard to make money in the market. So right now it's a seller's market. So anyone that is trying to sell a house, they got a little time, they can make some change. But what I'm gonna do is like right now, I'm conducting some experiments. Today I was in contact with someone about an ideal, an ideal. I'm not even gonna mention it because it's gonna be reserved for my students. Um, one of the reasons that I can sit down and I can tell you exactly what I do to make money and why you cannot duplicate it, why you, this, this is one of the things that big business ideal people go for. They go for markets that are hard to, it's, there's, a, there's a barrier to entry. And the barrier to entry is if you don't have a YouTube network, you can't do what I do. I can tell you, I can spoon feed you and you still can't do it because you don't have the digital assets to pull it off. So I have a very high entry to barrier into my market. And also all of my products are proprietary. You can't get this nowhere else because you can't, no one else has lived the Glendon Cameron experience. So they're all inherently proprietary and they're all very different. And what I'm consistently seeing is people do not want to commit to making money because I'm about to tell you something. This methodology, the way that I sell courses, it took me seven years to develop. The first time I did it, I made maybe $20,000 that year off that course, maybe. And I was like, what I did is what I'm gonna teach. It's like, okay, we did that and that yielded this result. And this result isn't the result that we wanted. So we're gonna do something different. And that yielded the result. And that still didn't yield the result that we wanted. So we're gonna do something different. And that yielded the result, and we don't like that result. So we're, this is, this is like I was telling in the class the other day, to be a successful reseller is work. It's nothing sexy about it. Cause like I said, people want the money to live that lifestyle, but screw starting a business, screw building an email list, screw, man, I don't have time for that. I just want the money without the burden of work and responsibility. And that's why you don't have the money because you don't want the work. Like, I'm, I'm tell you a little story here. I'll tell you a little story. Um, last night was date night. We're both very busy. So we go out and um, we're having a conversation. And I, I feel this is in my advantage because my girlfriend tells me all of these other dudes are, um, they're kind of pissed off with me because in my mind, in my mind, I didn't have to do a whole lot to get her. I mean, I would say going on dates, my girlfriend cost me maybe, we go to a lot of nice places. It's like $200, $300 for a check. So maybe, maybe a G a month. Maybe a G a month, that's what she cost me. I should say cost us because let's just cut that in half because I'm eating too. So that's half the bill. So she cost me maybe 500, 600 bucks a month. I, I'm like, she ain't breaking no banks over here. She ain't breaking no banks. And she was telling me that her exes who were like one of her exes, he wants her back really bad. And I understand why he wants her back. I understand. She's a different kind of girl. And she's like, what is so special about him? He, she's like, he point blank asked me. And I was like, well, we get along. We have fun. I enjoy spending time with him. And he doesn't bother me. It's like, he lets me work. He, he doesn't, he, he's not needy. If I got something to do, he's like, okay. Cause I got something to do. And I'm going somewhere with this. 
Um, this is the same girl in this very room that told me she did not want to be in a relationship. Same girl. I talked about this. And I walked her to the garage and gave her a hug. And I kept working. She actually was sitting on that bar stool over there and she said, I don't want to be in a relationship. That's what she told me. She rejected me. She said, no. What did I do? Put a smile on my face and I kept working. See, in that story, I just gave you the blueprint to a million dollar business. Because see, what did, I, what did I tell you? It took me seven years to develop this methodology. It's, it's proprietary, no one else has it. Uh, Alex Becker, who's a pretty popular YouTuber, was saying that selling online courses using a YouTube channel was a bad idea. I don't run paid traffic. I sell online courses using my YouTube channels because I developed a specific methodology. I've developed a specific methodology and procedure that works very well because since I am not spending money for paid ads, my profit margins are damn near 98%, 99%. But once again, <clears throat> I didn't go for expediency. I played the game for the long term. And because of the way that I do stuff, it's gonna be real hard for someone to come on YouTube and try to duplicate. Like, you know, uh, once again, thank you guys who let me know that people be pulling my videos down and uploading them. These videos be getting two, maybe 10 views. So it's the same thing, because they don't have the digital assets. They can't get the same results. So what I'm telling you is, instead of wanting money, you need to be committed to making money. And once you get committed, and it's just like a marriage, you're married to someone and some days you don't like your wife. I've been married, there's some days that just happened. But you just go through that and it's like, I don't like her today, but I'm gonna stay married to her, I'm gonna be nice to her, and then one day you're gonna wake up and you're gonna look at her and your heart's gonna be filled with so much love. It's that commitment that gets you back to the love. It's the commitment that gets you to the money. See, the reason that so many folks fail to make money, and this is why I talk about these YouTube advertisements, I know the stats. The average small business makes owner makes $75,000 a year. And this is someone who's doing their business full time. And the reason that they only make $75,000 a year is they don't know how to scale. They don't know how to hire. They don't know how to manage. See, a business ain't just a product or service. That's just the topical part of a business. The nuts and bolts of a business that makes a business really successful is the ability to scale, the ability to hire, the ability to manage. Those three keys are what separates someone from $75,000 a year versus someone making $10 million a year doing the same exact business. Same exact business. Same exact business. This guy over here is making 75,000. This guy over here knew how to build a team. He knew how to hire, he knew how to manage. Doing 10 million. Same business. Same business. And one of the things is when you commit to the process of making money, because like I said, it took me seven years to figure out this methodology. Seven years. It took a lot of study, it took a lot of reading, it took a lot of research, and more than likely, it took a ton of experiments. I'm about to give you a million dollars worth of game. If you can create your own laboratory and start running experiments and not turn into a little bitch every time you fail, it's like, okay, that didn't work. 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 Okay, that kind of worked. Okay, we're gonna do more of that. And you, you know, uh, Daryl leaves. Tiny tweaks make huge peaks. The 
because like I said, it took me seven years to figure out how to do this. Seven years. But also, so many people just want money. They just want money. They don't want to serve anyone. And one of the things I am seeing is everyone who gets into a business strictly for the money, porn stars, OnlyFans, trucking, they don't get into it to serve people. They always, they always come out. They always like end up out the frame because the commitment, the commitment to stick with it, even though it's kicking your ass. There were times this business kicked my ass. There was days I woke up, I used to wake up, and from, from those of you who've been here for years, I used to wake up at 4.30 in the morning and used to do the morning AM on Google Hangouts live stream. And I would get up at 4.30, go to about eight o'clock at night. I did that for years. This business, and there was years, those early years, um, let's go ahead. Um, year one, year two, year three, year three was really big with the sale of my book. And then after that, it just kind of went, just dropped off a cliff. I went from 1.5 million to about 120, just like that, boom. And then I started working and then I actually changed my category. I used to do only resale content. Then I got into business content and then that 120, then I went to like 250 and I went to three and I was kind of at three. And then I started working on my methodology. I've learned from my mistakes, like home economics. The whole thing I'm doing is the grand accumulation of me learning from all of my mistakes. Mistake number one, Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skill. There's too many courses on that platform. There's too many, there's too many. A mistake that I didn't repeat with B School for Hustlers. But the mistake I made with B School for Hustlers, I didn't put that many courses on there, but I had a failure of understanding of where you guys were. Cause see this whole thing, home economics, is the evolutionary, you know, like we ever, we're supposedly evolved from monkeys. It is the evolutionary process because home economics, like I said, I have five months to sit back and think about this. So home economics, cause I, I, I didn't tell you guys I was gonna do it, I just did it. And I'm relaunching 30 days to 2,500 home-based business. Once again, 30 days to 2,500 was a course like how to start a multitude of businesses. This is specifically home-based businesses. If, if it doesn't address starting home-based business, it won't be in that course, okay? And I have learned, I have learned and I have learned. But see, here's the thing, and this is one of the things that's preventing many of you from being successful. You're not doing nothing. You are analyzing, planning, reading, listening to podcasts, listening to audiobooks, watching YouTube videos. You're doing that, but you're not actually doing the business. See, what separates me from you is I work harder on this business than I do listening to you. I don't even watch YouTube videos about business. Honestly, and this may sound exceptionally arrogant, I don't think none of them can teach me anything. You know, every now and then I'll come across a YouTube and I was like, oh, okay, this is cool. This guy knows his stuff. But I don't really, I spend more time conducting experiments, working in the business than I do learning about the business. I learn from doing. And that's like many of you are really smart, you're really bright, hardworking, but you're kind of stuck in that loop of study, 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 analyze, analyze, analyze. And like, I'm gonna tell you, uh, one of the things we're gonna do in home economics is tiny experiments, because here's the thing, you can do all the research you want to, unless you're actually in that industry and you have esoteric, and this is knowledge that you can only get from being in an industry, 
when you launch a company, you launch a product, you launch a service, you can have the best business plan written, but until you press live on that website button, until you press live on that product and you expose it to the marketplace, you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know what's gonna happen. Like, I don't write business plans. I know it may seem foolhardy. What I do is I set it up. I have uh, some assumptions. I have some assumptions, right? And I go ahead and I start testing these assumptions. And then about 90 days after the testing of assumptions, at that point, I'll write down my business plan. But just out the gate, you don't know how the market is going to respond. And this is why so many people, like if a product is selling really hot on Amazon or eBay, they jump on it. And what this is, is race to the bottom. I can tell you there are things that YouTube destroyed. There was things that I got out of storage units. I used to make two, three, four, five hundred dollars off these items. YouTube got a hold of them. These items can now be bought for 30, 40 bucks. Same item, same item. So once again, you have to commit to making money. And the part of the commitment, and commitment is broken up in a few parts. You have to commit to serving people. When I created home economics, I didn't have an income goal. My goal was how can I make this the most usable? And this is one of the reasons that the lectures are only 30 minutes. Uh, I, once again, I've learned from 30 days to 2,500. The uh, daily modules were too long. So 30 minutes and like I have a hard limit. Like I, I have to sit there and I'm watching the clock. It's like it's going to be 30 minutes and some of them are going to be shorter than 30 minutes because once I get home economics completely built out with the new 30 days to 2500, I'm going to sell it in the future and I have to think about, all right, how would someone who buys this once it's complete go through this course? So I got to make it as simple, easy, easy to digest. You know, like this is one of the reasons that I like going for fine dining. The food is really, really good and it's easy to digest and also make it very simple. One of the things I learned, I used to try to sell five, six, seven courses at once. Mm -mm. Don't work. I have made more money by focusing on one course at one time than selling multiple products. Now, there's going to be two things I'm going to be selling. I'm going to be doing home economics and I am working on the thing with disruptive mail. So, you know, it's two different categories. I'll, I'll be working on that. And I have, um, a pathway I've created a pathway for this whole year because once again there's so much more to come and I'm not talking about it. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna do it and um, one of the things that I look at is when I look at a YouTube commercial I don't just look at it as well first of all I don't need to make money. I got something that makes me money. So I'm not looking at it from that, oh, can this thing make me money? I'm looking at it from an architectural experience saying, how did they build this course? How did, because see, I'm gonna tell you something that you don't wanna hear. Let's say you got product A. Product A is a great product. It's well built, well constructed, lasts forever. This is product A. But the creator and the founder of product A doesn't know how to market. Good product, great product, awesome product. Then you have product B. Product B is a piece of shit. Product B is a piece of shit. Early BMWs, piece of shit. But Product B founder is an excellent, is a student of marketing. He knows customer psychology. He knows how to create YouTube ads. And 
even though he has a shitty product, he's making millions while founder of product A is struggling in his own food stamps. Even though product A is a superior product. Like every time someone's like, hey, you know, I got a quality product, you know, just build it and they will come. No, they won't. They don't know about it. They can't buy it if they don't know about it. I, I was telling a friend and he had an uh, Oprah aha moment. And I was like, if I don't let them know I'm selling it, they can't buy it. If you don't know it exists, you can't buy it. Hence the limitation of founder A with this great product, but they don't know how to market. They would be better off partnering, par partnering with a marketing company that knows how to market and giving up 50% of the take because they're gonna make more money because they're, this marketing company will get their product out in front of a lot of people, a lot of people. But one of the things that I have learned is like pricing. This is, I have, I've, I've, I've run so many experiments with pricing. It has been crazy. And I have learned that I cannot just jack the price up. That, 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 that's like shooting your product in the head. Can't do that. But I learned that. And that's why home economics went up to 450 today. Now, why did I increase the price from 350 to 450? Oh, we added more benefits, products, and features. The reversion, the redo of home economics, that wasn't part of the original, uh, well, I didn't tell y'all, but I raised the price because I increased the value of the course. And guess what? Once I'm finished building out this home economics course, the price goes to a thousand bucks for the whole course. It teaches you how to manage your money teaches you how to get out of debt, teaches you about your credit, and then gives you foundational educational information on how to start your first business. So probably about mid-May, that's gonna go up to a thousand bucks. And I'll sell it. Cause see, this is one of the things, like right now, if you don't know, I've literally had 31 cars in my rental car fleet, and I am down to 15 between the wrecked cars, which was numerous, and I've sold some cars, and tomorrow I'm selling another one. So I'll be at this in probably into June. Now, why would I be at this in June? If I would just bomb the price, I would sell cars, but I would lose even more money. So, you know, like, uh, thank you, someone gave me a tip. Uh, there's no electrical outlets near the car, so I can't run the tender charger on them but the cars are sitting so long that a lot of the batteries are dying. So I got four cars. I know that I got to replace the batteries and I'll probably do that Wednesday. I'll probably do it Wednesday. Because once again, um, I'm back into teaching, educating, and that can wait. That's just dead money. You know, I get that money back. That's fine, whenever. Um, but I have learned that you know, the customer who gets the best deal is the worst customer ever. Worst customer ever. They will clown you. Mad, nothing but mad disrespect, nothing but disrespect, right? So from conducting all of those experiments and getting all of this data, I have a repository of proprietary data and proprietary information that no one else can use because they don't know about it. Like one of the things I was doing, and this is some, I haven't looked at a higher car lately, but I was running tiny experiments and I found out that BMWs did really well on the platform from a rental perspective, but from a driver user experience, that it was just a nightmare because these people were messing up my cars. And all of a sudden I put it out on YouTube and next thing you know, people buying BMWs. That's why I'm like, anything that I, I build, like I got some stuff in the works. There, there's some things I'm working on. There's a few things I'm partnering up with 
and I'm going to um, get into it and I'm not going to tell YouTube about it. Not going to do it because YouTube would literally destroy the market. It would literally destroy the market because everyone is looking for the hack or to do, 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 five minutes and 30 seconds. Sting is ready. That's what everyone's looking for. They're looking for the shortcut. They're looking for the hack. And I'm telling you, if you rewire yourself to do the work, to commit to making the money, your user experience is gonna be significantly better. I mean, if you had told me when I was in the boarding house that this would be my life, I would have probably punched you for fucking with me. I, I, I would have been angry because I was like, that, like when I was in it, I couldn't see this. I couldn't see this. I couldn't see actually going to the Porsche dealership and paying cash for a Porsche. I could not conceive this. But along the way, as I started to develop myself and build myself and learn valuable skill sets, level by level, I started leveling up. I, I think I mentioned this story before. When I moved to Sandy Springs and I joined Lifetime Fitness, the first time I felt out of place. McKinbay, the Matambo's over here working out. There's some other NBA players I don't know. There's some NFL players I don't know working out and everyone had on workout gear. These folks have spent hundreds, if not thousands of dollars for clothes to work out in, and I'm in sweats. I felt out of place, I felt odd. Then I broke, I canceled my membership, and about four years later, I went back. But I went back with my workout gear. I felt like I belonged, because I had leveled up. And year after year, I keep leveling up. That's the thing that you gotta go through because if I can give you a bit of advice, stop trying to make money fast. You know, you might be able to do it for a minute, but I guarantee you, you're not gonna be able to look back. I can look back and see 13 years of making over six figures. And what has happened we went from six figures, starting in 2017, 18, 19, we went to seven figures. It was a journey, it was a journey. It wasn't like we go go from here, broke, to bam, seven figures. There are many people on the internet that will think that you can do that in a year. I saw some Instagram, just claim your million dollars. Just claim it, claim it, claim it. Claim enough and ain't brought, well, that's not true. That's a whole different video we would be talking about. But one of the things that I want to give you some advice on, stop trying to cheat the system. If you give the system its dues and you do the work, you will get the results. But once again, what did I say? It took me seven years to develop this proprietary system of selling courses seven years and one of the reasons if I was a person of less ethics I could put together a course and no people would be failing because they don't have the, they don't have they don't have the assets they don't have the raw materials so because I have ethics I would never ever and that's one of the reasons that I kind of pull back from pure money if you notice that I've not posted a video on that channel because the average person doesn't have the determinations to stick with it, to fail over and over and over and over and over and over and over until you start winning. They don't have it. They will give up. And like, like I said, that's why I went to home economics. I may revisit pure money because, you know, Writing a book is not quick money. First of all, you gotta write the book, then you gotta have the book edited, and you gotta have it proofread. And you... this, this is a very time consuming process. And creating an online course, once again, my proprietary method, which helps me. But um, yeah, you gotta commit to making money because when I look at 
all of the things, like last week was a crazy week. And when I look at who has money and I look at who doesn't have money, I have to look at their habits and behaviors and that will tell the tale every time. Like all these folks who were coming after me from the October incident, I would go to their YouTube channel on the block and what would I see? World Star, I would see rap, I would see mental junk food content. That's all they were consuming. I didn't see anything like piano or Mozart or facade, philo no, all I saw they were subscribed to garbage channels or what I call, let's, let's not say garbage, garbage is harsh. Let's say they were, they were, they were tied, they were subscribed to entertainment channels, entertainment only. These folks don't want to be educated. They want to be entertained and that's why they stay losing. They stay losing because they want to be entertained versus being educated. And like right now, uh, I'm about to give you a book, Atomic Habits. It was a book that I recommended to class download and read because we got to work on habits and behaviors, habits and behaviors, habits and behaviors. So I have developed the habit of running tiny experiments. I've developed the habit or sticking with it until they work out. First five times I fail, all right, no problem. I'm used to it, I'm used to it. But once again, you've got to build up that strength. You've got to build up that ability to stick with something until it works out and stop fading at the slightest hesitation. Like I just told you, I'm dating a woman that told me to my face, no! I don't want to be in a relationship with you. Told me to my face. Did that stop me? Mm -mm. I just kept going on because I wanted her. And then I remember the day that she realized that we were back together. It was hilarious. And she, we were texting and she's like, why am I telling you my schedule? I was like, we're making plans. And then she's like, oh my God, we're back together again. <laughs> OMG, we're back together again. How did this happen? Once again, I'm used to failing. Fail it, failure to me is just a part of the process of winning. It's like, okay, that didn't work. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Let's run the experiments, let's run the play. But see, y'all wanna run the play and win instantly. And that right there makes you mentally weak. That puts you in the position where you're never gonna win long-term because you're looking for easy, low-hanging fruit. When you get to the point, and like, this is the thing. I look at Dave Ramsey, and Dave Ramsey is a good model for me. The baby steps, baby step one, baby step two, baby step three. We all know what the baby steps are. This man has built a $300 million company with a thousand employees selling something that he does a radio show and tells you how to do it. Dave Ramsey is the damn man. I, I see once again, you know, I, I don't get all caught up in, you know, I, I'm going to keep using credit cards. I've not paid a lick of credit card interest in 15 years. So I'm not going to be, Oh, Dave Ramsey's he's just like, don't do, 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 do use no credit. I'm like, Dave Ramsey has built a $300 million company on some of the most simplest concepts ever. How did he do it? First thing he did was plug in with the church community. I've been studying Dave. Dave is a very smart man. He plugged in with the church community and all these churches has financial peace. And in the South, you get, you know how many churches are in the South? Thousands. I'm willing to bet, you know, I might have to Google this, how many churches are there? But in the South, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a million churches. I wouldn't be surprised. And each one of these church acts as a digital employee for Dave Ramsey or whatever church is in this program. I've been studying Dave. He tells you. I can actually go on YouTube every day and do a live training and then sell that course. I've done it before. 
See, many of you who have looked like, hey, I can't share my, you don't have to worry about it. See, most people are not doers. So you could tell 100 people your ideal and hardly none of them will act upon it. So that's not the competition that you have to worry about. What you have to worry about is the brutal raw marketplace. What's that you say? The brutal, moral, brutal, the brutal raw marketplace. Your daddy just died. I don't care where's my stuff. Your mama just died. I don't care where's my stuff. Oh, it's sad you're sick. Where's my Uber? The brutal raw marketplace don't care if your daddy died, your mama died, you sick. They don't care. They want their stuff. That's what you gotta worry about. So go ahead and enroll in home economics. We're about to have a good time. And uh, I feel, I think I sent out the wrong link, so I'm gonna be sending out some links tonight, but it's below. Go ahead and get in. We're gonna have a good time. It won't be boring, it'll be very entertaining, and um, you should do it. You should do it.